Hello everyone. Welcome to Zoho Books, a VAT compliant powerful accounting platform for your business in Mexico, which can handle all your accounting needs such as managing invoices, purchases, budgets, inventory reports and much more. In this video, we'll see how you can sign up for Zoho Books, set up your organization and begin your accounting right away. To get started, go to www.zoho.com/books and click the sign up now button at the top right corner of the page. Here, enter your company name, email address and create a password. The business location will be Mexico. Click here to agree to the terms and privacy policy and click create account. Next, you will be directed to this page to set up your organization profile. Enter your organization name, the business location will be Mexico, select the province and the organization address. You can choose the desired language here. If you're dealing with taxes in your business, you can slide yes for is your business registered for VAT. You'll be asked to provide your VAT registration number. You can configure this in Zoho Books later on as well. Then click begin. You can choose to get a quick tour by clicking here. For now, we'll choose the other option. That's it. Your organization is all set up. After signing up, you'll be logged into the getting started page. In this page, you can find various how-to videos and webinars which will help you navigate through Zoho Books easily. On the left side bar, you can find all the different modules in Zoho Books. The dashboard gives an overall insight of all the activities in your organization. Under items, you can add all the goods and services that you provide in your business. In the banking module, you can connect your bank account, import bank statements, match transactions and reconcile your account. In the sales module, you can add your customers, create estimates, create sales orders for the items that you sell, and create purchases for your customers. And you can also keep track of all the payments through payments received. You can also create recurring invoices for your regular customers and store your customers' credit through credit notes. Next, you have the purchases section, where you can add your vendors, your expenses, and recurring expenses. You can create and keep track of all your purchase orders and bills. You can track all the payments made to your vendors through payments made. You can add your recurring bills here and also track any credits from your vendors through vendor credits. With the time tracking module, you can handle project accounting and keep track of all your projects. You can also log time by different users on the timesheet, which can later be used for billing. In the accounting module, you can find your manual journals, chart of accounts, budgets, and variety of other accounting transactions. Under reports, you can generate business reports like profit and loss, cash flow statements, and balance sheet, and get the real-time insight needed to optimize your business. You can schedule reports, share them securely with your team, and also export them to your system. Here, you can configure the modules you wish to enable in the left sidebar for your organization. Next, let's go to settings, where you can view additional preferences for your organization. Here you can configure your opening balances. You can add multiple users and assign roles. You can add your taxes, set up your templates, configure various integrations and do a lot more. Now that you have a basic overview of Zoho Books, let's look at a few basic steps to set up your organization quickly and get started. First, you'll have to configure your chart of accounts. You can do this by going to the accountant section and selecting chart of accounts. Here, you'll have a well-defined list of accounts and their corresponding account types. If you wish to add any additional accounts, you can click the plus new account button here. Choose the account type and enter the account name. Enter the account code and description if necessary and click save. Your account is now created. Next, let's see how to add items that are the goods and services in your business. To add a new item, you can click the plus icon next to items or you can go to the item module and click the plus new item button. Then enter the item name, SKU, the SAT item code, unit, the SAT unit code, its selling and cost price, and select the respective accounts to track sales and purchase for this item. Zoho Books also lets you choose the tax rates under the sales and the purchase tax rule for the items in your organization. You can choose to track inventory for this item and select the corresponding inventory account opening stock and opening stock rate per unit. Now you can save it. You can also choose to import your items by clicking here. 
The input option can also be used for other modules such as customers, vendors, and so on. Now it's time to add your customers. Go to sales and click the plus icon next to customers. Enter the name of the customer, their company name, choose a display name, and enter other information. Choose your VAT treatment, VAT registration number, tax regime, business legal name, currency. Check the box if you want to enable TDS for this customer. Enter the opening balance, payments terms, and social profiles. You can also choose to enable client portal for them. Click here to add the billing and shipping addresses. contact persons, and other necessary details. Then click Save. Similarly, you can also add your vendors under the Purchases module. To make sure your accounting is intact and continuous, you would need to bring in your opening balances, which you can get by running the trial balance report in your previous accounting software. After getting the report, go to Settings and click Opening Balances. You can follow the steps mentioned here to enter all your opening balances correctly. You can enter the migration date, which will be the date on which you generate the trial balance report in your previous accounting software while migrating to Zoho Books. You can import your accounts receivables for the amount you're yet to receive from your customers and accounts payable for the amount that you're liable to pay. Under each of these categories, like assets and expenses, you'll find the corresponding accounts where you can enter the debit and credit amounts. Enter the amount and click Continue. Now that you've set up your opening balances, added your items and customers, let's see how to create your first invoice. Go to the Sales module and click the plus icon next to Invoices. Select your customer. The invoice number is auto-generated. Click the gear icon next to Invoice number if you wish to configure this number manually. Select the date on which you're creating the invoice, the terms and the due date. Choose the CFDI usage and your preferred payment method from the drop-down. Next, add the items for this invoice and select the appropriate tax treatment. Add the customer note and the terms and condition of your business if required. You can also attach files to your invoices by clicking Upload Files. Now, save the invoice. You've successfully created your first invoice. If your customer has paid you offline, you can choose to record payments manually in Zoho Books. Click Record Payments and click OK. After the payment is recorded, the invoice status will be changed to Paid. You can also integrate with any of your online payment gateways to receive online payments from your customers. Some of them include payment gateways like Mercado Pago and Stripe. Now let's see how to generate an electronic invoice in Zoho Books. First, let's enable electronic invoicing. Go to Settings and click Preferences. Select Electronic Invoicing and enable it. You'll be asked to agree to share your details with PAC. Once agreed, you will have to upload the digital seal certificate so that it can be stamped on your electronic invoice and click Save. After enabling it in your organization, go to the Sales module and select Invoices. Click the invoice for which you wish to generate a CFDI certificate by SAT. Click Stamp Invoice. Now your invoice is stamped and is ready to be sent to your customer. You can click Mark as Cancelled if there are any issues with a stamped CFDI. You will be asked to enter the reason and confirm the cancellation. Now let's go back to the dashboard. Once you start creating transactions, you can view different business metrics here, such as your total receivables, total payables, the cash flow in your business, your income and expenses, your top expenses, projects that you're working on, bank and credit cards that you've added, and your account watch list. You can also view all the recent updates in Zoho Books by clicking here. If you use multiple Zoho Books organization, you can click here and switch to any of them. You can also access your accounts from here. Hope you've got a good overview of Zoho Books.
in the description below. We have added a link to access a 14-day trial where you can access all the features for free during the trial period. So make sure to check that out. We have also added a link to our help documentation where you can get a better understanding of all our features. That's it for now, folks. Have a great day. Thank you.